Hello and welcome to another video lecture of Keyquail. One of my students requested to make a video lecture on uh, logarithms and uh, they're from Australia. So I've decided to make the lecture from this book. Okay, in the contents, uh, as we can see, chapter 15 is about logarithms. If we look into the very first examples of this uh, particular exercise, they are pretty easy, as you can see over here. The first question is all about evaluating the powers, 8 square, 4 cubed, 5 power 6. The second question is a bit of interesting. The third question is again really easy, write as powers of 2. I want to do uh, this bit, the second row, the questions that are in the second row, uh, and that is a bit relevance in relevance with the uh, logarithms. So let's do that on the board. Now, as you can see, these are the questions from the second row that are selected to solve over here on this board. Okay, uh, the very first question, as you can see, 64 is equals to 8 to the power x, and we, are deter we have to find x, okay? So, the easy way to understand and how to solve this question is that represent 64 as a power of 8. Okay, how to do that? 64, 2 legs. The left leg should be 8, and on the right leg should be the other factor pair. So 8 times what is 64? 8. We got two 8s. That means 64 is 8 times 8, or 8 square. So I can represent the 64 as 8 square, which is equals to 8 to the power x. Bases are same, so x will be equals to 2. Simple as. Okay, number 6. 64, I'm going to take that away now. 64 was actually equals to 2 to the power x. This was the last question. Uh, you have to represent this time 64 as a power of 2. So again, 64, 2 legs. The left leg should be 2. The right leg should be the other factor pairs. 2 times what is 64? 32. Again, 2 legs. 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4. And two, two. That cannot be further broken down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can represent sixty-four as two to the power six. This sixty-four can be replaced with two to the power six equals to two to the power x. From there, x is equals to six. And that is how you can easily determine what x is if you have been given this kind of situation. Now we're going to be working with the questions and see their relevance with logarithms. Alright, what we have learned so far is that how we can represent one number as power as exponent of another number and how we can determine an unknown if it appears as an exponent, as an exponent of uh, another number. We're going to be using those concepts to solve these questions and after solving these we're going to draw a very important result which we will be using to solve further questions of logarithm. Now, I want you to stay with me if you don't get any concept in the beginning because I'm going to be solving all three of them. And hopefully at the end of third one, you will, you will understand this concept. Okay, let's look at the first one, log base 4, 16. The answer to that question is simply how you can represent 16 as an exponent of its base. So I can represent 16 as an exponent of the base 4 to the power 2. That exponent, 2, is your answer. That's it. So I can say that log base 4, 16 is actually equals to 2. So that was fast. Let's uh, look a bit uh, deep into that. Let's dig a little deeper. Uh, let's say the answer to that is unknown x. Let's call it x. Now we know that whatever appears in the power of 4 will be the answer to that question. So I can say that 4 to the power x the unknown it should stay at the as the power of x because whatever appears in the power of 4 the base it will be my answer and on the left side i have to represent 16 as the power of 4 so i can say 4 square now if you recall the earlier questions from there the bases are same so we can say x is equals to 2 now please remember this concept look at the next question 
log of base 2 1 again we call it x the answer that to that question is whatever 2 to the power x is equals to right whatever appears in the power of 2 however you can represent this number however way you can represent this 1 as power of 2 that will be your x that will be your unknown so I took this number as power of 2 and we know that we can represent 1 as 2 to the power 0 anything to the power 0 is actually equals to 1 so x will be 0 from here now let's look at the last one hopefully you can see the last one here uh, but uh, I'm gonna be solving it uh, a little bit to yeah, solve it here log base 9 1 over 27 let's call it x again so we know that however way you can represent 1 over 27 as a power of 9 that will be the answer to that question so whatever appears as the power of 9 that will be my unknown that will be my answer to that question so it should appear as a power of 9 9 to the power now I have to represent 1 over 27 as a power of 9 as well so I don't know that in the beginning I'm gonna leave this thing as it is I cannot represent 1 over 27 as a power of 9 but I can represent this thing as a power of 3 also this 9 can be represented as 3 square further to the power x and I can represent 1 over 27 as 1 over 3 to the power 3 as it is now using the law of indices we know that if a base has a power and the whole thing further has this power the exponents the 2 and the x they will multiply with each other it will become 2x and this thing has an exponent as in the denominator when you shift that into the numerator the sign of the exponent changes minus 3 bases are same we can compare the exponent minus 3 equals to 2x from there x will be equals to minus 3 over 2 now what do we know so far if a log has a base and this thing has a value is equals to an unknown the value is actually equals to the base to the power unknown however way you can represent this uh, uh, unknown as an exponent of base that will be equals to your value or however way you can represent the value as an exponent of the base this gives you the answer that's what we've been looking so far look 16 can be represented as 4 to the power 2 2 was the answer 1 can be represented as 2 to the power 0 0 was the answer now this 1 over 27 can be represented as uh, whatever the base is 9 to the power minus 3 over 2 so this thing minus 3 over 2 uh, be the answer so this is the case that we have discussed so far that log it has a base it has then this is a value all you have to do to solve this question is that the value must be how can you represent this value uh, as an exponent of its base and that will give you the answer now I'm gonna uh, assign some variables to these things base can be represented as a value can be represented as y and the unknown the very famous variable in uh, mathematics that we use most often I hope it's spelled properly doctor's font a y and this is x so we can say log of a y is equals to x if and only if if and only if that notation value y is equals to a to the power x or the other way around so this uh, result we're going to be using that to convert exponential form into logarithmic form and the logarithmic form back to exponential form thank you